Clay who wants to get up and do a video. Anybody want to get up and do a video? Huh? Anybody want to get up and do a video? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, it's Mike again from My Westies TV, and guess what? Fiona's puppies are six weeks old. It's hard to believe they're going to be going home in two weeks. Time to start getting ready for them to come home, getting the supplies they're going to need. There's a list of them in the description. Feel free to check it out. So let's check them out, see how they're doing. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the video. Fiona's litter, born December 20th, 2022, we have Purple Girl. I mean, look how big they've gotten just in the week. And she's off. And we have Dark Blue Boy. He's amazing. And we have... Light blue boy. Okay, look at there. There they go. I don't know where they're going. And pink girl. What do you think, huh? These are getting so much bigger. And last but not least, we have red girl. We're gonna get them out here to play. We'll get them some mash to keep them in front of the camera for you. And I'll be right back. You guys want some puppy food here? Let me put some food on your dish. Let me put some food on your dish. They've already managed to turn the, and they've already managed to tip the camera over already. We've only been in there less than five minutes. There we go. Here we are. Look it. There you go. There's some mash for you. They don't waste any time tipping that camera over. That's for sure. Forgot to put the right. We've got quite the windy day going on outside. the strap to keep the camera from tipping over. He's 
guys are amazing, aren't they? They're doing so well. There we go. That's not gonna work. As usual. Because we don't want to see the, the side of the... Look at that. They polished that all off. They just chowed it down. Nothing left. They ate it all. You gonna tip it over? Huh? You guys are bound and determined to destroy it. Aren't you? Aren't you? Hmm. Bound and determined to destroy the camera. guys will be going home in two weeks so now's the time to start getting your supplies together for what you're gonna need there's a list of supplies down in the description it's quite a list but you don't need it all you just need a few things to start Definitely gonna need a crate, a collar. And some, a small amount of grooming supplies you're gonna wanna comb to keep brushing them out. The clippers for their nails. There's no need to uh, worry about clipping their nails it's easy to do it's something you can do yourself they're bound and determined to move this camera around aren't they okay just eating all the squeakers out of there all the squeakers there's one there's a squeaker there's a squeaker yeah. That's a very good one. These guys have had their first dose of worming medicine. They'll get two more this week. And then they'll get another dose before they go home. Dose considers of three days worth of medicine, so they'll get one dose this week, and then in two weeks they'll get another series of doses of warming medicine. Let's see if I can. White blue is determined to destroy. These guys are a lot more playful a week later than they were last week. As you can see, a lot more active. You guys are done with this, look at it. It's gone. They ate it all. They ate it all. Didn't you? It's all gone.
I'm really loving chewing on that wire I've got holding the camera in place. Aren't you? You just like to chew on that bungee cord, don't you? Hmm. You find it fascinating? I'm sure you do. As you can see, they are a lot more active this week. I'm actually going to have to probably put up a bigger pen next week. Huh. I'll let you guys about your business put up some pictures of some of the supplies you might want to get for your puppies before they go home a pet bed a crate a harness collar leash nail clippers a comb a rake for their hair because they have Multi coats of hair that need to be combed out on a regular basis. Yeah, and it's a good way to bond with your puppy if you take time to just run a comb through their hair while they're sitting on their lap. Another good thing to do is always handle their paws when you pick them up because they don't really like to have their paws touched if you don't get them familiarized with that sensation so if you hold their paws put them in your hand regularly they'll get used to it so when you go to clip their nails they'll sit still for you huh won't you yeah you understand what I'm saying don't you white blue And it's good to keep your Westie clean. If you give them a bath, you can just use baby shampoo. You don't want to use the harsh whitening shampoos a lot because it dries out their skin. They already have a kind of a dry skin. You don't want to dry it any further by the, the whitening shampoos. You can do that like once every six months or so. But if you want to wash them regularly once a week, you can just use a baby shampoo. That'll keep them nice and clean. And I want to make sure that if you have a fence around your yard, that there's no gaps in it. Westies will investigate the fence to look for a place to get out because they are curious. They're not satisfied with no matter how big, no, trust me, no matter how big the yard is, how big the fenced in area is, they're going to look for a way out. So it's good to make sure that your fence is well secure. There we are. Come on over here. Yeah. Princess Fiona is weaning her puppies all by herself. She's, sometimes we have to take the moms away. P Princess Fiona is already... I'm out of here. We have, to, we have to actually put her in the pen and make her stay with her puppies so she doesn't get too full of milk. Mastitis. Tell her, Princess Fiona, you're dripping. Go feed your puppies. Yeah, you're lactating. It's time to go feed. Some moms don't want to give it up. It's funny because uh, Bambi, Fiona's mom, was the same. Is the same way. When her puppies are 
three weeks old, she's ready to start weaning them. And at four weeks, five weeks, she's completely done. These guys are six weeks. They're still eating once a day, twice a day from mom because Fiona's producing so much milk. Gotta empty them babies out. So these guys haven't been outside yet because of the uh, the cold weather. The snow on the ground. They will be paper trained. So when you go to take them home, if you put paper by the front door, the door they're going to go out to go to the bathroom. They'll go over to the paper. When you see them go over to the paper, take them right outside. They'll get the hint real quick. Real quick. These guys are so smart. We put the paper down, they head right over to the paper already. And then we uh, keep decreasing how much paper we put in there. So, they go over to uh, the paper to go potty, go to the bathroom. Again, these guys are fascinated with that bungee cord I'm holding the camera up with. Aren't you? Look at you chewing on that thing. Bound in the turban. That's another thing you need to do. You gotta puppy proof your home. The uh, the Westies will search the entire house for things that you want. So if you've got things laying around underneath your furniture, they'll find it. So you want to get down on your hands and knees if possible and look under everywhere where they could possibly drag something out. Extension cords, they love to chew on the extension cords, which isn't good for them, obviously. Or just the lamp cords, television cords, things like that. So if you get a electrical cord hanging anywhere, you want to want to secure it so they can't chew on it. And there are some plants that you may have around the house and that wasn't good for me either i've got a link in the description for plants that are poisonous so you might want to check that out if anything you have uh, growing in your home is not a good idea for the westies to chew on Knocked the camera down again, didn't you? Hmm. Knocked down number two. Down and out. Yeah, the busier they are, the more they'll tend to knock the camera out. Oh. Oh, they could secure it better. That'll probably be the smart thing to do, huh? Secure it a little better. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. Nope, you knock it down again. These are bound and destroy, bound and determined to destroy the camera. Hmm. Bound and determined to destroy. One side here. Let's see if we can get where we are. There we go. Let's see if 
that will solve the problem. The problem is I can't see my screen. Well, I have to prop it up like that. Huh. Keep moving it around. They keep moving it around. I'm determined to break it. I know it. I know it. All right. Let's move that out of there. Here, let me find my toy. Leave the camera alone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. What's up, Pink? Huh? This is a cat toy, but the puppies love it, especially at this age. You know, like I say, next week I'll have to have a bigger area for them to play in. Yeah. So these guys are six weeks old. Gonna go home in two weeks. I'll do a video next week of uh, cutting their paws, cutting their nails, not their paws, their nails, and uh, trimming their butts. Cause you have to continually do that with a Westie. You have to trim up their backsides, trim the hair out so it doesn't get all messed up. And uh, it's something you can do on your own. Uh, I mean, you can pay somebody to do it if you like, but there's no need to be timid about grooming your Westie and keeping them neat and clean. It's fairly easy to do if you've got the time. If you don't, well, there's people out there that'll do it for you. Yeah, there are, aren't there? Yeah. You can see these puppies all have a different kind of hair. You can see red, red girl, she's got the, the coarse hair, and so does purple. It looks like light blue, dark blue, and pink, in the form of a triple coat. And dark blue has definitely got the size, oh, I don't know, light blue is pretty big too. These guys will go to the vet, get their checkup before they go home. They will have seen the vet and they'll have their first set of shots. So two weeks after they go home, they'll have to get, they'll have to go to the vet and get a shot. Gotta wanna make sure that they have their parvo shot before you take them to any public spaces. Don't be taking them to a a dog walking park. Some people like to take them to the pet store. Uh, if you do that, don't put them down anywhere where another dog may have gone to the bathroom because we definitely don't want your puppy to get a parvo or anything like that that would, well, let's just say it wouldn't be good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's always good to keep your puppy in a crate. We always recommend to crate train your puppy. And it's not a it's not for punishment. It's for their own good. You want to make a puppy their their 
safe place. Their crate should be a safe place for them to go when they're scared, when they want to rest. If things get a little crazy around the house, it gives them a place to go for quiet. A quiet, secure area to, to go and relax and chill out. Definitely don't use it for punishment. Don't put them in there because they're barking. Don't put them in there because they went to the bathroom on the floor. But. And if you're gone, if you're going to work, the pup, they do not mind being in their crate because it's their safe place. Yeah, they will sit there and wait. They can't tell time like we do. They don't have an internal clock like we do. They don't know the difference between five hours or five minutes. So... If it does seem like they have an issue with the with the crate, you can put them in there. Wait five minutes, let them out, and then keep increasing the time until they get used to being in the crate. These guys will be used to being in a crate just to hang out there. They like to go in there and just hang out like a cave. Yeah, they like to just go in there and hang out. So feel free to. Get them a crate. At least till they're tra house trained. You don't want them to let them run around the house because until they're they're potty trained because then they'll just smell their scent around the whole house. They go, oh, they've got an indoor bathroom. These people are so nice. We've got a heated indoor potty. Huh. Hey, there's your mom. Here's your mom. Huh. She just wants to come up because she smells your food you ate. Yeah. She says, hey, you the rest of the cans down here on the stove. You want to give it to me? That's what she wants. Not knowing she's going to share it with Jamie and Nola, her sisters. everyone for watching we appreciate everyone who stops by takes a look at these guys again there's a there's a list of puppy supplies in the description you don't need them all right now but there are a few things like I say puppy bed leash harness grooming supplies a brush and a comb and a small pair of electric trimmers because you can trim around their eyes and their backsides need to be trimmed like once a week their nails need to be trimmed once a week or every other week because they get really sharp these guys aren't bad but I'll trim them I'll do a video or that and uh, you just trim the hair right here on their on their right here right here and again the places you want to trim you want to touch all the time rub them with your with your hand they to get their paws they don't like to have their paws you know pick them up and rub their paws because when they get older they hate that if you don't get them familiar with that sensation of you touching their paws you'll go to trim it and they'll want to pull it away so all right so you want to trim their keep touching their paws so when you want to trim their nails you want to work with them they'll cooperate huh yeah you guys are awesome again we want to thank everyone for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button yeah Hit that like button, notifications bell to keep up with all that's going on around here on My Westies TV. We want you to 
Stay awesome. <laughs> Stay awesome. And have a great day.